What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. So we are back. We've got a new set of Garp challenges available today. So we're going to be going through it. We're going to be going through all the colors and all the classes for you guys. And each single day, hopefully I'll be able to get a view up every single day for each of these new Garp challenges, right? So uh, if you guys have no idea what these are about, it's a set of relatively difficult missions. So we go over to the Chopman missions. They did reset. It is currently the ninth of july pst time um they reset every single time at that point but um if we go ahead over here um that's heavenly demon which is another set which i've already done last month there's a whole playlist of um the garp challenges from last month but now we've got the revolutionary army which is a little bit different so this one you want to be trying to clear the revolutionary army number one because there is two islands after you clear number one for the first time you will unlock number two which is the very hard difficulty which uh, i'll also try and get a video up for you guys as well but you want to be clearing it with a strength dex quick Psy, Int, and then Fighter, Shooter, Slasher, Striker, Free Spirit Driven, Cerebral, Powerhouse type team. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be jumping into it. Um, so the team that I'm opting today, we're going to start from the start, of course. We go, we start from the Strength team. So I'm going to be using a Douglas Bullet team. Surprise, surprise. Um, the only thing is, is it is currently right now, as I'm making this video, it is currently in the middle of a treasure map. So I really hope that there's some bullet friend captains. I think that might be a little bit of a struggle because I think a lot of people aren't going to touch these GARP challenges until the treasure map is concluded. So this could be a little bit of a problem because I do have a couple of teams that I want to try and build. So I really hope that there's some bullets up. Uh, yes, okay, there is a couple, which is good. But I think some of the other ones might be a little bit difficult to build for. But this is the team that I'm opting to build. Um, so, uh, massive shout out to Imperio. This team is inspired by it. It's not exactly the same, but it, it works in a very similar manner. So, um, let's go ahead and get into it. So, let's jump into it. So, um, previously with the GARP challenge Heavenly Demon, it, it, it's a little bit different. It, it's, it's the same sort of structure in terms of the event, in terms of what you have to do to get all the rewards. But the event itself that you're actually playing is different. So you have to bring different utility characters to counter what the bosses will be doing here. This is my first time playing it, so it's going to be an experience for all of us. For those of you who don't know how the GARP challenge missions work, for these ones specifically, on stage one you'll see a bunch of enemies here. What you want to be doing is, is just killing the enemies that have the same color as what you have on your team. So we've got a full board of, of strength characters. We want to kill the strength guy, and when we do kill him, we'll get uh, you know all of our special cooldowns maxed out which is very, very important. Okay, we need an additional hit, which not, which is not good. But that's fine. So, uh, now the strength guy is gone. He's going to go ahead and give us uh, the full max specials, which is very good. And then we can go ahead and then uh, these guys just want to run, run away, basically. But, you know, if you're, if you're running a quick team, you want to kill the quick guy. If you're running a side team, you want to kill the side guy. Uh, but here we go. We're on stage two with Kuma. So Kuma, with his preemptive, has a defensive buff. Um, this is relatively annoying. There are lots of ways to get around it. You can use um, different support effects. You could definitely apply. Uh, in my instance here, I'm going to be using Montdor because not only does he remove that defense buff, but he also gives our team a 1.75 color affinity, which is good, right? Because Douglas Bullet being super effective against all types, he's going to definitely abuse that color affinity. Now, you can see that we are running the Garp ship um, to give us additional HP. I don't know how required this is. Once we get to the boss stage, I guess I'll tell you how required this is because there is something on the boss stage that we do have to kind of deal with. But let's see how we go here. Got to hit our perfects. And then Douglas Bullet will have more than enough damage at the end to kill off Kuma. No problems there. All right. So far, so good. Stage three is Robin and some pirates. So the preemptive attack here is that our captains are binded for five turns. And also the fact that uh, the enemies that are surrounding Robin, if you leave them alive after turn one, they give you six turns of despair each. So you want to kill them off. Now you see that we did have the support effect of the quick rare recruit Bonnie to remove that bind, which is very, very good. We do have Struson on the team to remove bind, but we're going to be using him a little bit later on. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to use the Kuma special, which changes the bomb orbs that we have into matching, as well as giving our team a 1.75 orb boost. And with this, hopefully have enough damage to kill all the surrounding mob characters and deal a pretty sizable amount of damage to Robin would be ideal as well. So here we go. Uh, looking pretty good so far, I must admit. I think we're going to clear this stage in one turn. Easy. Sweet. All right, stage four, though. 
this is where things get a little bit more dicey. So you've got uh, Inazuma and Ivankov here. Uh, I do have a little notepad that, that actually describes what each of these bosses do. So I'll pull that up real quick. So for stage four against Inazuma and Ivankov, the preemptive, you can see that they have the delay and poison immunity. And one of our middle row characters is blown away, unfortunately. And then after turn two, Inazuma on the right hand side will give you 10 turns of slot bind. You don't want to deal with that. You want to kill him before turn two. And Ivankov on turn four, will go ahead and blow away a random character on your team for four turns. So you definitely want to be making sure you're getting through this here. Um, because our Douglas Bullet has a matching slot, we'll use his special. And then try and basically kill these guys off in one turn. So let's see how this one goes. Okay. Super effective attacks. That was pretty good damage. And kills off Ivankov. All right, sweet. So stage five now is going to be against the Morle and the Bello Betty. So preemptive attack, there is the color change, so he becomes an int character instead. He also has a barrier. Now that barrier adds 1.5 million HP to Morle, and Morle's base HP is 4.2 million, nearly 4.3. So he goes up to like a what, a 5.8 million HP with the, uh, with the barrier, right? Which is pretty annoying to deal with. So, unfortunately, the friend captain, Douglas Bullet, does not have a matching slot. That is a little bit of a problem, but we'll see how we go. We'll use the Douglas Bullet special, and then because we are target locked to Morley as well, so we have to kill him. So, basically, we want to make sure that Douglas Bullet, the one that we just used the special with, is dealing over, you know, a million, over, over 500,000, which he should be able to do, right? Because um, the Bellow Betty doesn't have much HP. She's only got a million. So, we should be able to kill the Bello Betty in this one turn here, just as long as we hit our perfects, and let Douglas Bullet hit for a lot of damage, basically, so we'll see how we go. Okay, boom, easy, sweet. Okay, so Bello Betty is dealt with, and now we can just go ahead and take our time killing off the Mole. We'll actually pick up this Recovery Orb just to make it a little bit more safer. And then we'll kill off the Mole. There we go. So, so far, this team's actually been pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Now we get to this stage, which is Lindbergh and Karasu. So Lindbergh and Karasu, they both have 2.25 million HP. And the preemptive has a delay immunity for 99 turns. And your left, or your right column, sorry, is going to be binded for five turns. So this is why we have Struson on the team. Struson is very, very good here. Because his special will not only remove that bind, but he will also get rid of those block orbs that we got. And also give us the recovery orbs, which are treated as beneficial to our team. So... Struson is like a really good unit for this particular stage here. So what we're going to do is, is we are going to let our strength characters attack Lindbergh and then let our two Douglas bullets attack the Karasu. I think that's probably the best way forward to get the most optimal amount of damage here, considering we have a full board of matching slots here. So let's see how we go here. Now, this is the final, uh, the second last stage before the final boss stage, right? So, you know, this is where things get real serious. Here we go. One, two... Three, switch. All right, that worked out absolutely perfectly. And now we can uh, just move on to the next stage. GG. Okay, so final boss stage now against Sabo and Koala. So Sabo and Koala, they have 10 million HP, but something that's a little bit better compared to the Dofi fight is that there's no mob characters you have to deal with. So in that sense, it makes it a little easier, but there is still things you need to take into consideration. So first of all, they remove your beneficial effects, so you can't bring buffs in. They have delay immunity. They also cut your health in half here. We get burned for three turns as well. Now that's annoying because the burn, you kind of have to deal with that because it, the thing is, is after you kill them, they actually revive with 500,000 HP. It's just very annoying, but we're going to use Big Mom and we do have the support of Flampe to reduce the enemy defense and to make perfects a little easier to hit. Uh, in, in hindsight, now that I'm thinking about it, it probably wouldn't have been the best thing because we might actually have to hit a lot of perfects and if we hit too many perfects, I think we die. So in hindsight, we probably shouldn't have used Flampe. But we will see how we go. I think I think it's 5,000. Is it 5,000 per perfect or is it 3,000? So that's the thing. I actually don't remember. Do I have it written down? It's 3,000 damage per perfect. So actually, it's fine. We can actually hit all of our perfects. So that's not a big deal. So yeah, we can hit all our perfects. And then hopefully this should be enough. And bullets. Yes, let's go. All right, there we go. Douglas Bullet coming through. Being super effective against all types with the color affinity all boost attack boost that Big Mom provides is so good. And then just because we can, let's use the Montor special 
which gives us more color affinity, of course. Doesn't really matter at this point. And then we can just finish off the Sabo and Koala. So they just revive to ensure that you have to deal with that burn. You have to be very, very careful about it. So there we go. Uh, team is fully complete against um, the Sabo and Koala Revolutionary Army number one Garp challenge. So there we go. Douglas Bullet very impressively was able to clear it um, without too many problems, actually. It was actually a pretty impressive clear. So there we go. We get the Rainbow Gem for clearing each of the each of the islands for the first time, you know, with the certain colors or the certain classes. So there we go. Um, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. And of course, as I said, I'm going to be trying to upload, you know, at least one per day uh, of each of these islands. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And if you guys did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.